All right, let's talk about exercises involving rotation or twisting. All right, rotational power for sports um, is very important. Or just building a strong core and stability. A lot of it comes to if you're rotating the right areas of your body. Your upper back is your thoracic spine. That part of your back is made for mobility. So when we do a twisting motion, we want to get the majority of our range of motion through our thoracic spine and not our lumbar spine. For most people, it's okay to get a little bit of uh, lumbar spine rotation, but the main part of the lower back and the abs down here is for stability. Again, with that being stable while allowing the thoracic spine to do the rotation. So I'm going to go over three rotational exercises with you, um, talking about the proper form of each. The first one will be a side toss medicine ball slam into the wall. We got a medicine ball here. Arms long. I'm going to twist and explode into the wall. And release as hard as I can. Again, without the ball in slow motion, it'll look like this. You notice as I rotate to my right, my left uh, hip internally rotates and pivots. And as I throw back to my left explosively, my right foot internally rotates and throws. So it'll look like this. Left foot internally rotates, right. Full speed with the ball. Okay, again, I'm trying to get the majority of my rotation through my upper back, not my lower back. Embrace my abs like I'm taking a punch. The reason I internally rotate my foot as I come this way, if my foot stays still, there's a lot of torque in my lower back. But if my foot comes with me, that takes some of the torque off the lower back. Same thing when I reverse the movement and go back to my right. If I don't move my foot, my lower back has a lot of torque. If I bring my foot with me, it takes stress off the lower back. So that's a medicine ball slam into the wall with rotational power. All right, the next one's gonna be a T push-up. Okay, that one is performed like a traditional push-up, as you can see, with a twist. Once again, I'm trying to get a lot of movement through my thoracic spine, aka, AKA upper back, while keeping my core, lower back, brace and stable. As you can see, when I did that, I like to pause up top to get a little um, core stability element in there as well. All right, that's a T push-up. Finally, I have a, you can use a dumbbell or a medicine ball, or a kettlebell. I'm gonna use a dumbbell today. I'm gonna go, low to high, so a diagonal um, twist or chop. Back flat, we'll let your back round. Come down, rotate up. Once again, as I go up, my right foot internally rotates. And it helps to have your eyes follow the dumbbell so you twist in the right areas. There you go. So if you, if you include twists or rotations in your routine, make sure you're st stabilizing the right area, lower back, abs, and you're twisting, the majority of your motion comes to the thoracic spine, and you'll be good to go with no injuries.